The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Well, come over here to Alex Jones, and the first thing he's got on his page is gas prices going up. And the news little cast right here. Y'all go see it. Uh, that's one of them ones that you can't reload. Or I can't. But, uh, actually telling you how much a gallon, man. They expect the gas by May to be 425 a gallon. I don't know about y'all folks, but, uh, most of you know what started the crash of the housing the housing bubble to crash uh, we were paying what a dollar seventy dollar eighty a gallon when it first started and then it went up to four dollars like it is about where it is right now and then everybody started losing their houses so they started giving them a bailout. Folks, I don't know if you remember that, but remember this. Remember this closely in your head. That's what started the damn depre the recession, depression, whatever you want to call it that we're in. To start with. And we sat back and watched uh, the refineries make all those billions a day remember all that was in the news and we're all sitting here why don't we all just say to hell with it and go to the store and buy all the food you can right now and let's just stay our asses home I mean park our damn vehicles and I mean every damn body Everybody just park and sit on their damn ass. Because, you know, that shouldn't be hard for a lot of people. They ain't got nothing to go, they ain't got nothing to drive anyway. Because it's damn broke. And the rest of us that are working, why don't we just all sit at home? Seriously. If y'all like this idea, let's, let's start passing it around. I mean, damn. This is ridiculous. I mean, two, eight dollars for two gallons of gas. Eight dollars for two gallons of gas. Shit, they used to fill up two tanks. What's it going to take, people? What's it going to take? You're all going to sit there and fantasize about the good old days yeah one time I could drive a nice little sport car around town now I'm back gotta drive this damn moped back and forth to work now cause I can't afford to drive anything else how long people is it gonna take for y'all to see who what and where this is coming from I can tell you one thing that could happen. They could fix this problem. But it ain't going to happen. <clears throat> you remember George Bush? Well, let me give you a little story. Back in the 70's, we had a gas crisis in this country. People were pulling up gas pumps and there wasn't no gas. So, people were gorging people on the gas prices. Now the barrel of oil, now listen to this, the barrel of oil back then was $75 a barrel. But we didn't pay but 75 cents a, bag a gallon then. 75 cents. And that was high. Everybody was crying then. A lot of you older people out there know this. You remember that. But sometimes it takes a spark to go in your head to remember totally. But Nixon, which I'm not going for him and thinking he's a, 
the great man or, or nothing, but uh, he put a executive order. Actually, I think he had Congress to help him. And they took it off the stock market where you couldn't trade gasoline. Couldn't trade it. Couldn't trade it on the stock market. They capped it. It could only go up so much. Now let me give you another little story. Just to show you. Mr. Bush and his daddy we all know that they're in the oil business. Right? Now guess who took that law off? It was going to be a big thing. It was going to help going to help our economy. Remember? Is this all coming back to you yet? He took that off. And then our gas prices started going up. One day it'd be 325. The next day it's 275. And it's been playing this up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's been like a yo-yo. You go to the stock market and look at it, and it tells you, I don't know, I hadn't looked lately, but I'm sure it tells you uh, uh, a price you don't want to know, but um, price of oil right now is pretty high. But the gasoline price on the stock market is not as high as what we're paying people. It's always about 50 percent, about 50, maybe 60 cent higher than what is actually on the stock market. If this is uh, 350, we're paying four dollars. 349. You know, we're close to four dollars. That's generally what I've been seeing so far, according to what they're showing. Whether now, let me rephrase this: if they're telling the truth. But yeah, we're still all out here, and I don't know about y'all, but I drive about fifty miles a day, and you know, it's costing me almost as much as it it does the work let's just put it this way I don't know if you sat down and really figured it out but your salary that you're making by the hour or salary whatever the pay is it's about cutting half people it's about half of what you're supposed to be bringing home half because you're spending it all in gas. If you're spending it all in gas, then you got either a food bill going short, you got a light bill going late, or you got a house payment going late, or you got insurance going late. Now wait a minute now, you got to have insurance, or they'll take your license in this state. Uh, you gotta have lights so you can cook unless you got gas. But you still gotta have lights. Hmm. Kinda got you over a barrel. And then you pay taxes on all that. Do we get any relief for that? No. Oh hell no. When the gas prices go up, the light bill goes up. It's all done with fuel oil too, right? They gotta go up too. Well, you got all that food that's out there that you got to go to the store and buy, spend that gas to go get. Well, that food didn't just get there. It didn't hatch in that store. That truck had to have gas to bring it there too, or diesel. And diesel's even more. So, when the gas prices go up, your food prices go up too. Well, before long, what are we going to do, people? 
The light bill goes up. The gas, your gas bill goes up. You're working for nothing. You get it? You're working for nothing. Nothing. You're not getting anything for your money. Nothing. Used to. Used to back in the 60s. A man could go to work. And your mama stayed home with the children. She took care of the kids. Now there were some families out there that were single parents. But they weren't near as many as they are today. And they had not near as many problems as they do today. But everybody gets out here and we all get in here and we try to fight this stuff. It looks like it's come to the point, people, that we got to show them who we are. If it wasn't for us, they wouldn't sell a damn thing. Not shit. And them rich bastards wouldn't be no they wouldn't be rich. Cause if we cut their money off, then the bank ain't or let me rephrase this, not the bank. But the Federal Reserve's not gonna give them money. You see my point here? We know they're cheating Ron Paul. They're cheating him they're cheating him so bad it, it's just it's it's plain nasty how bad they've been cheating him. It's disgusting. It's just disgusting. It's like it, it's kind of like uh, if Bin Laden was running for president in Iraq. This is how gross this is. We all know he's dead. But he's been dead a long time. It, I'm not getting into that. But you understand the scenario there. He'd win by a landslide. Or should, shouldn't he? But not with these damn crooks. He wouldn't have won. Saddam Hussein would have won. Or somebody. Whoever they picked. Saddam Hussein pissed them off so they killed him. That gas prices went up again. But we're over there messing with them people. And our gas prices keep going up. We ain't even supposed to be over there. We ain't got no beef with them people. None whatsoever. What they do to us? The one of them slap your dog, slap you, slap your old lady, slap your child. No. Nope. They too damn far away. And then I'm gonna get these comments back from some of you. Well, if they get a nuclear bomb, they can promise. Well, eh, well, fucking hell yeah. We got one. We can bomb them, can't we? What's the fucking problem? Maybe if they do have one, maybe we'll quit fucking with them. See the point? Why keep fucking with people for no reason? You know, it's like this. If I was to get in your face and I kept pointing at you and I kept getting closer in your face, what you gonna do? You just gonna stand there? Hell no, you ain't gonna stand there. If I push your buttons long enough, you gonna fight back. Ain't that right? Have you people lost? <coughs> have you lost your morals? The fighting you? Literally? Or are you so damn asleep that you just don't see what's going on around you? Obama has done all of these laws that he's changed. The First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, and the Fourteenth Amendment. And I don't know how many more amendments. I can't keep up anymore. There's so many things that he's done that screws up everything that I can't keep up. Hell, I don't even know if they've passed another law today or not. And then, then, yesterday, yesterday, Sunday, 
Or maybe it was Saturday. It was one or the other. Obama accuses Iran for our high gas prices. So this morning when I get up to go to work, I'm paying six dollars or six cents more a gallon. Six cents. And all of y'all are too. Every time that fucker opens his mouth, we pay more for gasoline. Don't y'all see what's going on? Can't you see it? I know you can. But don't you think that's a great idea? Everybody just... Everybody get start passing a message around. Somebody figure out a date. Maybe Alex Jones can do it. Everybody set out a date. We're going to have a four-day set out or a five-day or a two-day. If nobody spent one fucking dime, and I mean one fucking dime, they didn't pay no bills, they didn't go nowhere, they didn't go use no credit card, they didn't shop online, they didn't do shit. They stayed their ass at home, they shut everything down. That means you too, you fucking crooks. And all you cops and judges and lawyers, all y'all stay your asses at home. Don't go shopping. Don't go do nothing. I know it's boring as hell, ain't it? But would you rather be bored to death now or be bored to death in a FEMA camp? Because even you judges and you lawyers and you uh, cops and uh, you people that, uh, TSA people and all of that crap, all you people that work for the government, do you think you're any better off than any of us? You're part of the problem. You need to start fighting worse than we are. Why? Because you make the laws. You make the rules. You help them fight their bullshit. Stop! Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Yeah, you drive around in a city car. And the city buys your gas. Oh, we. But they don't buy your damn car for your car, your home car, your old lady's car, or your husband's car. You have to pay for that. So your gas price is a little bit cheaper, but you making the, you got a job. We all got jobs. The ones that, that do have some, that ain't gonna have none soon, <coughs> including you. Because if we ain't got a job to make money, you can't have a job because we ain't paying taxes so you can make money. How long is it going to take y'all to wake up? Until everybody in the street, and I mean everybody's in the street. Nobody has lights. Nobody has no food. What's going to happen when that happens? We ain't got no lights. We ain't got no food. And we, I ain't talking about the solar come, could come and turn out our lights. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about you can't afford to have lights. Half the city's out of, out of fuel. Well, if the, half the city's out and the city can't pay for fuel, then the whole city's going to go out of fuel. So then you're still up without lights. You see my point here? All of this is connected. It's all connected and it always has been but some of you people will not get your fucking heads out your ass I don't understand why I, I really don't it's all connected I'm preaching here and I know I am but you know that I'm telling you the damn truth it's all connected you know, I, I've been doing this for four years on the internet. Been preaching the word for a whole lot longer. There's a man out there called uh, Bo Grites that woke me up. And it was a long time ago. Some of you don't know who it is. He actually ran for president. And, uh, he was a good man. And he talks the same fight that he's that, that Ron Paul's talking right now. 
do away with the fan. <coughs> but you see, he didn't win. Because we had that little scrawny, uh, a little scrawny pipsqueak come in there. Oh, I'm going to change everything. I'm going to do everything. They didn't have the system rigged yet. He was winning. Well, he quit in the middle of the stream because he got threatened. Remember old Ross Perot, right? Does anybody remember any of this stuff? Or is some of, most of you guys that are intelligent are out here are too damn young to know all this. Some of you are just too damn young. You've done your history, but you're still too damn young to really know. And I'm not talking bad about you. No, I don't take that in the wrong way. I'm just saying some of you are just too damn young. But us older guys out here, we know. We know. We've seen some shit go down. And some of us have got better memories than others. Because I've heard some shit that didn't go down the way they say it's going down today. And a lot of other people know that too. But hey, just a thing, right? But look, folks, I've held up enough of your time. And I don't even know how long this thing is. But y'all go see the video. It explains, you know, they talk about $4.25 a gallon. But uh, I'm doing my normal thing. Going to somebody else's site, get information. That's what you're supposed to do. So pass the information, folks. Uh, I don't care whether you like Alex Jones or not. If you think he's a fraud or a fake, that don't matter. People, quit fucking fighting and worrying about who done what, when, and where. God damn it, man. Get your fucking head out your damn ass and stand up for what's right. You know what's right and what's wrong. You get in there and you push, you get in there and say stupid shit, he's a fed, he's a fed, he's a fed. Who gives a flying fuck? He's the only son of a bitch out there that is pushing the information to where you can get it and get it out. You may not be a fed, but his information is pretty much rock solid. I mean, it's proof in the pudding. Everything he says is happening. Okay, don't give me the, uh, what's his name? Um, William Cooper, sorry, forgot his name. He spoke a good thing, but so what? I'm sorry, folks. He was a good man, but he's dead. He's dead. You can't live off the man's memory. And remember this. One thing I'm going to tell you right here. When he was alive, he had some good stuff. Alex Jones had some good stuff, too. But you also got to remember this. Remember this. They're both radio hosts. And they have to be paid. And they have to go with a certain flow. And if one's not getting the ratings and the other one is, then they got to bullshit the other one down. Don't y'all understand that? They have to get the ratings so they can make the money, so they can keep pushing information. Don't be stupid and blind. So yeah, alright. Okay, I don't care. Whatever. If you want to keep your head in the damn sand, and, you know, go ahead. You just keep on doing that, but get the damn word out. You know, even if you got to get in there and you got to cuss somebody for being a sorry son bitch, get pass the message when you do it. Pass the message when you do it. Or stick your head in the sand. Same difference. Just because you don't like them, or they're not pushing the message that you want, you're not pushing... Uh, there was an earthquake five minutes ago, but right now the President Obama's birth certificate's on fire. I, you know, who gives a fuck? It's information. If it's information, pass it from one place to the other. It's a solar storm today, tomorrow's an earthquake. You know, who cares? Get the fucking information out. 
I'm just you. I'm throwing things at you. It does. I'm. I can't think of just anything that's going on. There's so many. It's just on the top of my head at the moment. I'm venting. I've done a lot of venting here. Probably did a lot of cussing, and I'm sorry. But if I keep sitting here trying to think about what word I'm going to say and what word I'm not going to say, the message don't get out right. I get all stuttery and, uh oh, uh, yeah. screw it. We're past being nice. We're past being, um, I'm going to wear my feelings on my shoulders. We're past kissing ass. We're past feeling sorry. All that shit's over. Get your head out your asses, people. Seriously. We're in deep shit. This gas gets up much higher. What are you going to do? You know, now that it's up where it's at right now, it won't be long that food, that $100 that you're taking and it's buying a half a basket of food, it's going to be $200 to buy that half a basket of food. You do know that, right? So, if we all sit down, seriously, sit down, and put a stop to this shit by staying our ass at home, this might go away. They might go back and put that stock market cap on there back down to about $2.25 a gallon. You know? They can do that. They've done it before. And Bush took it off. Remember that. Bush took it off. Not Obama. And I'm not taking up for Obama. Trust me. <laughs> if you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm not taking up for him. Basically because he's a fraud. But anyway. I hope I didn't hurt none of you's feelings. But if I did... Like I said earlier, it's not time to feel sorry, and it ain't time to uh, uh, to hold your feelings on your shoulder. If you're going to hold your feelings on your shoulders, then you're just a damn coward. That's all there is to it. That's the way I see it. Or you're a drama queen, one of the two. I, 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 you know, I don't know. But anyway, folks. That's just like the guy that gave me some bad rap. He come back and I took the video down. He come back and he apologized. Because I made a video about it. Well, I took the video down. I don't like doing that. But it struck me and I, I was in a bad mood. So, you know, just too much crap going on. And, and people come up and say stupid stuff like that all the time. You know, it, it, it's just, it's ridiculous. I don't get it. But people, much love to y'all. Heads up. And uh, if you like what, if you like the idea, please, let's get the message out. Let's set a date. Somebody set it up. Somebody set it up. And let's have a, a few days set down. Just refused. Cops refuse, judges refuse, lawyers refuse. Everybody just shut down. Don't spend the dime. If you don't spend a dime, then who's going to be hurting that needs money? Huh? Yeah, you thinking? You thinking? It ain't us. We're already hurting. You're hurting the people that that money goes to. And if they're sitting their ass at home too, then it's not hurting them either. It's hurting the big man. The one that's got all the money. So, you know, I've said this I don't know how many times, but I can go on forever. Good night. Much love and heads up.